What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me how I got a hold of this. Let's just say that I have some <clears throat> friends with questionable interests. These uh, friends that uh, snoop about on the more dark and raunchy side of the internet, and one of them sent me this. And I have to say, I am both honored and appalled. I'm honored because, you know, someone somewhere gave enough of a shit to, you know, uh, do this. But at the same time, it's also appalling because, you know, this the, the, this is my character. This is- the, look, this cannot- this cannot be coincidence. Look at this shit. Look- look at this shit. They both have the same red eyes, they have, uh, feminine features, they have the, the scar, they have long dark hair, they have the ears thing going on, they have the same nose, they have, like, this is the same, this cannot be coincidence, somebody made Rule 34 art of my character, Nico. Like, Wow, like, the only difference between these two pictures is the lighting, the art style, and the gender. That's it. And, uh, it, it, uh the only reason I use the, uh, YouTube demonetization symbol, aka censoring, uh, because you can't actually see anything on the picture, there's nothing extremely explicit, it's just inappropriate, um, I, and I don't want to take the chance of a YouTube counting that as overly sexual content. You can't see anything, but it's still very suggestive, as you can tell by the Ahigao face. Uh, how do you pronounce Ahigao? Ahigao? Anyways, how do you... <laughs> Anyways, like, I'm not complaining. It's definitely good artwork. It's ten times better than what I can do, because that picture that you've seen of me in the past, all of the pictures that you've seen of me in the past, or seen of Nico, I should say, uh, was not me by hand. I used apps. Uh, in the case of modern Nico, I used Pitsmaker, and in the past I used the Rinmaru Games anime avatar, which was a Flash game, which sadly, you know, I don't have a computer to use. Um, but anyways, like, this is, this is an uncanny similarity, it's... The difference is night and day in some terms, and then in other terms it's like... Almost to a T. I don't know, I don't even know who made it. I don't even know who made it. This is, this is, wh whoever this fan is that made this, like, I am... Like, I'm grateful that you like my shit, but, uh... The fact that it takes Rule 34 art for me to get any traction in the world is kind of... It's kind of messed up. But, hey, wh whatever, whatever, gets m whatever gets my image out there, whatever gets the persona of what is now Schwappa J out there, I, you guys are more than welcome to make your own adaptations of me or my content. Um... Uh, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Hmm. Brain fart! I won't lie though, it is some good artwork. <laughs> uh, what the fuck was that? Anyways. Listen, I'm not one of those kinds of people that makes characters solely for the purpose of making people nut. But, you know, I can still appreciate good artwork when I see it. Um. Although I guess <laughs> I, <laughs> I guess from now I guess anyways I think that I think that was in tune with the song a little bit the background music anyways so 
basically the whole point of Nico was to just have like this really cool OC, I guess, but originally he was going to be the main character of a series, an anime that I was going to make. Um, I, I don't know if I already told you guys or not, but I deleted my origin story of Nico video because I felt that it was actually too soon. Like, it, I, not necessarily like a rush job, but I, I feel like I didn't, I don't know, it's just kind of a mixed feeling, like I didn't cover enough, but I also covered too much. Like, um, I, I guess I like spoiled more than I was planning on. Because I have this whole great big thing going on for Nico, but I don't have the money to hire animators or do anything to get him out there, to get his series out there. And um, to be honest, I think I might have to go with something else entirely, because uh, the whole edgy superhero thing with a tragic backstory has started becoming a little overdone, cliche. Uh, maybe, maybe I should like do something else or invent something else, like a different series or even a different, go to a different profession entirely. But anyway, I'm getting way off topic. Uh, so, <laughs> like I said, like this, it is, it is a good artwork, um, but I feel a little bit, I feel a little bit, not like sad, but like kind of a downer, uh, because it, I'm famous enough to have Rule 34 art, but not famous enough to be featured on any other YouTubers, uh, channels. And I've asked around for people to animate my previous voice acting stuff, but no response from any of them. So. Wow, I went way off topic with this. So, uh, the the moral of the story is, um... I have a backwards-ass destiny to have Rule 34 art done by someone before an actual collaboration with anyone. And, um, that's pretty fucked up. Like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.